What's up folks, Zen here. Want to show you my new toy, the latest addition to the orchard. This is a May Pride peach tree, uh, one of three uh, varieties in the Pride series developed by Dave Wilson. This is a low chill hour requirement peach tree. I uh, got the idea because uh, one of my neighbors uh, who I mentioned before in another video, who's a fruit tree enthusiast. He's got over 80 fruit trees on his property, and one of them is a desert gold peach tree, which I've heard many good things about. A lot of people out in Arizona uh, grow desert gold peach because it takes heat very well, it is drought tolerant, uh, and it has low chill hour requirements. And... Uh, this is also a low chill requirement peach uh 175 to 200 hours below 45 degrees which is ideal for southern california um and as the name says may pride you will have fruit in may so this is the tree it's pretty well developed i'm probably going to cut it low Watching videos from uh, Dave Wilson, Mr. Tom Spellman himself, talking about planting a new tree and how when it's young, that's the time you want to control the shape and the size of it. And so he usually likes to cut his at knee length. So we're probably going to chop this tree like right around here. And it seems like a shame to waste all this growth. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do an air layer and try to save the top, grow it out in a pot, give it to a neighbor, or maybe just grow it out in a pot and save it for a rainy day. But uh, let's take a look at the spot I'm going to put it in. This is the spot where I had tried to grow a... Uh, what was it? I can't even remember the cultivar now. I want to say Hawaiian punch, but fruit punch, fruit punch mango. This is where my fruit punch mango died. I had it mounted here. Um, originally, when I first came down here three years ago, I tried to, I was thinking about putting an avocado tree here. I did the water test. I dug a hole, poured water in. It didn't drain for two days. So, this is a very heavily uh, heavy clay area. Um, so this week I've been treating it with gypsum. Got this at Home Depot. It's like eight bucks for a 40 pound bag. It's heavy, man. Look at the size of this. I buy 40 pound bags for my dog of dog food and it's a massive bag. But this gypsum is so dense. This small bag here 40 pounds it's pretty hefty but uh, I've been putting water in it every evening and I'm uh, putting gypsum here and I think over the years I mean when I originally found out this had a bunch of clay I asked my uh, local nursery and they gave me a bunch of clay breaker which was a bunch of compost manure all the wrong things I that I shouldn't have put in here because I've been putting way too many organics and that's what killed my avocado tree. Too much compost, too much topsoil, uh, and I took out a lot of the native soil which I should have kept in here. So this whole pit um, has been changed, all the dirt in here. But hopefully I can grow a peach tree in here, peach tree. Um, it's happier in sandy loam, sandy soils, but uh, it can handle the compost and all the or other organic matter. So we're going to put the peach tree in here, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, folks, it's Super Bowl Sunday, and we are going to put my mid-pride peach tree in. Uh, as you can see, it's already gone into leaf. 
Uh, the first part of the video I shot a week ago. During that week, I've been flooding this area with water every night and applying the gypsum. Uh, yesterday night, I did not flood this area, so it's somewhat dry, or it's drier. And uh, I've put rock dust in the hole to uh, give it trace, or to add trace minerals for this peach tree, and then also liberally sprinkled mycorrhiza in the area to help promote root growth. The mycorrhiza attaches to the roots. It extends the reach of the roots and the nutrient intake of the roots. And so we're going to get this peach tree situated. Um, I mentioned in the first part of the video that I shot <clears throat> how the idea of getting a peach tree came to me because I saw a neighbor's um, desert gold peach tree in flower. Uh, I forgot to mention that the reason I got this mid-pride is because I looked around and Desert Gold is not available at any of the nurseries here in California, nor can you import it. So the next best low chill hour peach tree was this mid-pride peach. So let's get this thing situated. And we're going to water it in with... Uh, worm and compost tea which I've been brewing here for the last four days uh, it doesn't look as frothy as it was because I accidentally knocked the power cord last night and so when I came here this morning there was no activity here because my bubbler wasn't on but this thing's been brewing for the last three or four days and it had a good thick head of foam as you can see by the lid so this thing is completely activated all the little critters are just jumping and thriving and so i'm going to water in all my trees with a mixture of this ph water here uh, which has been uh, let sit out so that it gasses out all the chlorine and all that kind of stuff and uh let's get this peach tree situated on Super Bowl Sunday. All right, so I've got the uh, peach tree situated. Good thing it wasn't too root bound. I broke up the sides just so that the uh, existing roots weren't going to twist around and wrap around and cause issues later on down the road. You can see I have the uh, graft facing away from the afternoon sun, which is going to be coming from that direction. I don't know if it really makes a difference, but I read somewhere that the exposed graph section, you don't want <clears throat> facing the sun or the uh, afternoon heat. Um, and like I said, I will be air layering the tree around here take off this top section, give it to a neighbor or somebody who wants to try their hand at growing a peach tree and won't have the root stock, uh, which probably controls size, but what the heck, maybe they can grow it out in a pot and have a few peaches. Come May, which is why it's called May Pride. So I'm going to uh, take a watering can and soak the root ball and sprinkle more mycorrhiza and then proceed to fill everything in and then top it off with a bag of wood chips that I gathered. That's the next step. Already, alrighty, uh, mounted May Pride. Got the graft union exposed. That's very important. You don't want to have the grafted section anywhere underneath soil because it'll put down roots of its own and you don't want that. You want it to be completely controlled by the root stock. And uh, I'm gonna put additional soil around the circumference of this mound. I'll grab it from my poor dead 
Pinkerton avocado box over there. And so I'll probably put like a little channel around this thing to gather the water um, so that when it is watered, uh, if the water runs down, which it should, it'll just gather in the channel and keep this whole area nice and moist. And of course, cover it with some uh, good wood chips for mulch. Show you the completed prod product when I finish. Alrighty, we got this thing mounted now. Um, it's now Tuesday. We're expecting scattered showers today. We really need it here in Southern California. We're in some kind of 22-year drought cycle, which is the worst in 1,200 years. So we're expected in North County here about half an inch of rain today. Wanted to get this thing prepared. Wanted to say congratulations to the Rams. I was rooting for the Bengals because I wanted my team, the Chargers, to see how a cheap-ass franchise that's run shoddily can still manage to make it to the Super Bowl. But I'm happy for the Rams because Eric Weddle gets to get his ring. Uh, you've got so many great stories on the Rams. you got Weddle. You've got Aaron Donald. Of course, you got Matthew Stafford getting his ring. Uh, you got Andrew Whitworth, Odell Beckham, so many cool players. So I was going to be happy no matter who won the Super Bowl this year if my charges weren't going to make it. Uh, so anyways, I've got uh, the May Pride mounted. I laid down compost on top of the mound of soil. You can see the difference in shade. The darkest stuff, of course, is the compost. That's the soil underneath. I created a bit of a berm here to stop the water from just completely sliding away. Hopefully it'll pool at the edges. And also I'm, I'm laying down a bag of uh, wood chips, which will hopefully hold and retain the water and hold this form of this mound so I don't have a bunch of slide off. So yeah, getting this thing ready for the rains today. So I mean, this May Pride should be as happy as a lark. It's got mycorrhiza. It's got decent soil around it. It's got the layer of compost. It's going to be completely sheltered by the wood chips, the roots. So uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have ourselves a really nice peach tree in a couple years if I'm still around here. But anyways, gave me something to do. I always like new toys, a new addition to the orchard. Uh, have a happy day, folks. Take care.